Hey everybody, how's life treating you? Uh, Russ Robo here. I just wanted to say, uh, I know I've been gone for a while. Uh, I wanted to do some quick updates on the channel and just touch base with you real quick. Uh, I know I look like crud, but it's just because I've been tired. Uh, I just got off of work. Uh, there's so much to talk about. I don't even know where to begin, so I'll just start with uh, where I've been. Uh, I know it's been a few days since the last upload. I went on a trip. It was fun. I went on a nice camping trip, with, or not a camping trip. We planned to go camping originally, me and my girlfriend, but I didn't <clears throat> request time off from work early enough. So instead of camping, we just went to the same place, but only went on the hiking trail. Uh, it was Providence, Providence Canyon State Park, Georgia. Uh, it was great. It's definitely, it was definitely the most physically challenging thing I've ever done. But um, it was a seven mile uh, hiking trail. Uh, we went on the Red Trail, which is considered the, like, the hardest trail there, but it was an intermediate course. So I don't have like, a lot of experience with the easy courses, and I have no experience with the hard courses. Uh, Aurora tried to like, train me up uh, with like, an easy jog here, a jog there, get me ready for uh, intermediate hiking. and. I did good. Uh, Aurora says I did good. It was hard to keep up with, you know. It was hard to keep up, uh, but but I did all right. So I I went on a hiking trail. So I was gone all Sunday and most of Monday. I didn't get back until uh, about Monday afternoon. It was actually it was actually about five thirty six o'clock by the time I got back. We left Sunday morning almost about Sunday nine o'clock. We got there. It was beautiful. We took so many pictures. Um, the whole thing is like this, like, you're, you're up at the campsites and then you're looking down sort of into the valley. And, uh, they've got the whole, like, uh, dark red dirt, like a canyon, you know, kind of like a mini Grand Canyon, a very, very, very mini Grand Canyon with pine trees growing all the way up through it. And the, the white, like, uh, like stark white rocks, like, I guess almost a salt or a, bu or a, a basalt, like, um, you know, I'm no expert, so it just sounds ridiculous, but uh, we took a lot of pictures, so hopefully I'll get to upload those to Instagram and Facebook, and then you'll see what I'm actually talking about, because for me, it just sounds ridiculous, because I, uh, it was a first for me, um, I, two firsts, actually, I had never been on a real, real hiking trail, and <clears throat> I had never seen a mountain, so I finally got to see a mountain, well, I guess it was like more like a canyon, our highest elevation was only 500 feet, and you don't really notice anything until 1,500 feet, which is what Aurora said. But there was some climbing, some serious climbing. Uh, some of the like, some of the parts of the course were very steep, so you had to really hustle up there. And then, you know, of course, if you go up, what goes up must come down. You got to go back down. So you're kind of walking to the side, using these little steps, like step and step and trying not to trip. Um, it was great. I had a wonderful time. Um, so it was a three hour drive up there, then the hiking, then, you know, the hiking, then the three hour drive back. So I was exhausted all, uh, Monday and I'm still feeling sore today, uh, mostly in the legs. Uh, but I I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be back and have uh, hopefully some videos up for the channel currently. What I am working on is the latest uh, Sky, uh, ultra modded Skyrim video. Uh, it's looking good. It's looking good, but I want some more. I want some more fights. I want to finish the quest. I'm working on getting another uh, camera because this webcam is awesome, but it it draws uh, it, it draws RAM from my computer, which sometimes lags my games or slows my games. So I have several options, uh, but I want to do one at a time. One. Uh, I can upgrade my computer's graphic card, uh, which would enable me to run the face cam, run recording, and run the uh, game at the same time with no latency. And I could upgrade the, you know, games to higher graphics settings. Uh, but I want to do that after the first thing I want to do, which is to get a better camcorder. Uh, the one I have, I've been telling you about. You've seen on, uh, you've seen on. Um, Final Fantasy and uh, a lot on Skyrim I use it. Uh, it records for about 20 minutes and then normally just drops. It just dies. Uh, and then it says it has power, but you turn it back on and the battery is like three-fourths of the way full, 
but it says battery exhausted, then shuts down, and lately I've been noticing that the camera itself is overheating, like it's hot, uh, warm to the touch. Uh, it's just the battery is so old, the camera is so old. Uh, I don't know, I didn't read the battery fine print, it says uh, charge with the uh, charge with the provided charger only. I probably lost that charger years ago, and I've just been charging it with a phone cable or whatever I could find at the time. So I probably burned out the battery by charging it with an unsanctioned charger. <laughs> so eh, I could get a new battery, but I might as well just buy a new camera. That camera is like eight, nine years old. I don't know how old that camera is. I've had that camera forever. Uh, what else was there? I know that times are tough for everybody right now with the, you know, uh, with the, you know, COVID thing going on. Uh, um, I mean, my, my, my video won't get um, demonetized because it's not going to be monetized. But I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want my video to get pushed down in the, in the uh, queue so that no one ever sees it. Uh, I know times are tough right now for everybody, especially in uh, retail with all the call-ins and uh, food service with all the with all the no shows uh, and uh, just everything. Everything's difficult right now for everybody. But you know, just hang tough, and we'll try to make it through this together. Uh, I'm I wanted to say I'm very proud of all the people uh, that I've seen properly wearing their masks at my store in the 23rd Street Walmart in Panama City. Uh, you know, we're doing good with that. I've seen a lot of people wearing their masks. I'm always wearing my mask. If I'm out there on the sales floor, I'm trying my best not to spread anything that I might not know that I have. You know, thinking about other people. Trying to make sure that, you know, everybody's just going to get through this as quickly and as, uh, not easily, but with as, le with as little incident as possible. With, you know, little incident. Um... What was the other thing I was thinking of? Uh, ah, yes. But I just wanted to say that I hope we can all make it through this uh, as quickly and as easily as possible. You know, just trying all to work together and whatnot. Um, uh, my store, well, every store, Walmart's going to be closed on Thanksgiving, so I'm actually really looking forward to that. Uh, that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe spend some time with the folks. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, that's going to be nice. Uh, there's been a lot of call-ins at work lately, so everybody's just struggling, trying to get by. But just hang in there. Uh, we. Oh, that's what I was going to say earlier. Uh, living in Florida, I'm actually in the, I guess, high, I guess highest risk state. We're like, the U.S. is number one for COVID, and then Florida is number one for all the U.S. states. So here I am. <laughs> Ah, it feels like Hurricane Michael, just something big storm just coming my way, you know what I mean? But, um, I haven't had any symptoms or had any problems yet. Phone's blowing up. Uh, gotta go get to that. Uh, texto to friendos. I'm probably gonna play Borderlands uh, 3 with uh, my uh, my manager uh, in a few minutes. Uh, El Jefe. Uh, I call him El Jefe. His real name is Jeff. But uh, I'm gonna play some Borderlands with him. I have no idea why this video is running on too long. I need to get this up on the channel. There hasn't been anything in like six days. I'm going to finish Skyrim. I'm going to do some Naruto Battle Climax. And then uh, it's back to Final Fantasy. Uh, probably the channel news. Uh, I actually probably won't even need a channel news because I've already discussed all the things I needed to discuss here. Um, oh, le one last thing. I don't know if I mentioned this already. Uh, I might be moving soon. Uh, I might be moving to Mobile, Alabama to uh, stay with my girlfriend. Uh, we've been trying and trying and trying so hard to find a place here in Panama City, but everything we need is either booked up, like if it's within our price range, there's no availability. If it's out of our price range, it's out of our price range. Uh, anything that we can afford is just gone instantaneously. We've called places, we've looked at places, we've asked for tours. Uh, they either don't call us back or they give us the tour and say, oh, well, so-and-so just applied for this, so uh, send in your applications, and then we call in say, oh, we got our applications in, how's the place looking, somebody's like, and then they say, oh, well, with the COVID thing and everything going on right now, we're not sure, with no guarantees, we can't guarantee anything, or they tell us that somebody else has already gotten it, and we've just been trying and trying and trying, and uh, 
I, I'm, I'm just fine here. I'm very comfortable where, where I'm at, but this wasn't supposed to necessarily be a permanent arrangement. And I've been living here for the last five, six years. So, yeah, I've really stretched this on for way longer than I originally intended. But, you know, Charmin's been like, uh, you know, she's become like family to me. She's like Aunt Charmin, you know, I can really depend on her. And I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be where I am today without her help. Uh, so I'm not just going to ditch. I'm going to give her some, you know, warning, tell her, you know, a couple weeks in advance that I'm planning on heading out. I don't know where we're going to live in Mobile, but I need to get up with my managers about transfers to which store I have no idea. Uh, for all I know, I might just, um, if I can't get a transfer, I might just put in my two weeks at my current store and uh, try really hard to get in with Lowe's. Uh, my buddy Skyler says they pay 15 an hour, which I'm, an, I'm only at 11.50 right now. I took a pay cut to go to days from nights. It's much less stressful, so in the long haul, it's worth it to take a 50 cent pay cut. I'm only making 11.50, but boy, $15 an hour just to throw some freight. Um, I think that's an unloader job. It's going to be very physically taxing. $15 an hour. Yes! <laughs> I should have been making $15 an hour ages ago. They really, they don't pay us enough at Walmart. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I, I, that wasn't said. Don't decensor this video. <laughs> don't demonetize this video. Uh, Walmart's a wonderful place to work. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> um... I actually am. I just want more money. Um, but I have let this video go on far too long. Uh, thank you all for joining the channel. Thank you for being here. We're a very teeny tiny little teeny bitty itty bitty family. But it's here. It's slowly growing and I'm happy to have it. Uh, I'll keep you all posted. Uh, I hope the next video doesn't take more than a day to come out. And uh, hang in there. We'll beat this thing together. Uh, stay strong. Six foot. Wear your masks. And until next time, take it easy my friends.